Hi, Movies Beyond here. Today I will show you a horror thriller film from the year 2000, titled Final Destination. Spoilers ahead. Watch out and enjoy. Final Destination is a first entry in the series. It follows a high school student named Alex Browning, who foresees a plane explosion that kills hundreds. He panics and is thrown off the plane, along with six others, including his best friend Todd Wagner, his arch rival Carter Horton, Carter's girlfriend Terry Cheney, and two fellow classmates, Claire Rivers and Billy Hitchcock. His teacher, Valerie Luton, volunteers to stay behind and look after the students. Initially, everyone believes Alex is nuts, but are stunned to witness the plane explode in mid-air upon takeoff. Months after the incident, Todd is found strangled to death in his bathtub. His death is at first thought to be a suicide, but Alex is convinced that Todd didn't kill himself, and after visiting him at the morgue, learns from mortician William Bluetworth that the Green Reaper itself is claiming the lives of those who were meant to die on the plane. This is confirmed when he witnesses Terry being hit by a bus firsthand. He also finds out that death is killing them on the order they were supposed to die if they were to stay on the plane, and deduces that Miss Luton will be next. He rushes to her house but looks suspicious and is taken into custody. Meanwhile, Miss Luton's coffee mug leaks into her computer monitor, causing it to explode. A shard slits her throat. She stumbles into the kitchen and her stove ignites, causing her to fall to the ground. She reaches for a rag to stop the bleeding, which is sitting on a rack of knives on the counter, causing it to tip over and sending a knife into her chest. Alex is released and finds Luton bleeding on the floor near death. Another explosion causes a chair to topple over, driving the knife deeper into her chest. By the time he pulls the knife from her chest, she has already bleed to death. He flees the scene realizing it will look like he is responsible for her death. He goes into hiding but is found by Claire. He explains to Carter and Billy that death is after them and Carter stops his car on train racks wanting to die on his own terms. At the last moment, he changes his mind, but cannot get out of the car. Alex saves him, and a shard from the wreckage is sent flying through the air, decapitating Billy. This leads Alex to believe that because he saved Carter, death has skipped him and went to the next person on its list, Billy. Alex realizes he is next and distances himself from Claire. He then remembers that Claire was meant to die before him in the plane explosion. He rushes to save her and finds her trapped in a car that is seconds away from exploding with an electric power cable flipping around outside. He grabs the cable electrocuting himself and allowing her to leave the car before it explodes. Six months later, it's revealed that he has survived and is now in Paris along with Claire and Carter. The three celebrate their victory over some drinks. Just then, Alex says that he has saved Carter and Claire skipping them, but in his case, he has never been skipped. He then begins to have a weird feeling and leaves the table. He walks into the street and a bus serves to avoid hitting him, driving into a sign which swings off its hinges. Carter wrestles Alex to the ground, saving him from being hit by the falling sign. Alex tells Carter that death has skipped him and just then the sign comes off swinging back down, killing Carter. This means that once death has skipped everyone on its list, it will go back to the top of the list and start over again. Make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you can watch more videos like this. Thanks for watching.